Soy afeminado, soy amanerado, I am femboy. My body has been conditioned to be father, but my spirit yearns for mother. Am I an orphan child? Recently, I've been asked a lot about my gender pronouns, and I am not offended. On the contrary, I celebrate this questioning. There's something about this body, something about these caderas. This is what they meant when they said, boy, you switch and walk like a girl. Something about this gender paradigm is just not working for you. My name is Jose Richard Aviles, and my preferred gender pronouns are he, they, them, ella y desmadrosa. And yes, we have a word for ratchet in Spanish, and it's desmadrosa. First, let's start with he. He is the one that was conditioned to ride the bus at 2 o'clock in the morning, though a faggot, he is still a man. He is the one that had to learn to exert his masculinity by playing with trucks, building blocks, doing a tune-up and a smog check, and yes, you best believe she knows how to change a tire. He was the one that was conditioned to speak for being in this metaverse with you all. I can see you down there. I saw my audience. Listen. It's a manifestation of my male privilege. And then there's they, but see now they are interesting. They function like the child who is anxious to see who hides behind the peekaboo. They are the ones that walk with me into the bathroom. When other men walk into the bathroom and question their gender, you should see their faces. They see some curls and earring and a skirt and say, who are they at the urinal? They are the ones that walk with me, for they remind me that the street was my first stage. They are the ones that try to decipher the fine line between compliment or the next victim of toxic masculinity. And then there's ella. Ella is yas. Ella is the sweetness of a skirt that glides across the ocean. Ella wears heels just to remind herself that she is heard. Ella derrama lágrimas. She cries at, no, at night and she doesn't know why. But the bitterness of her tears are as true as her lonely heartbeat. Ella is mi madre. She is my mother. I use ella because my mother needs affirmations more than I do. Let that sink in. <laughs> and then, and then there's desmadrosa. <laughs> desmadrosa cackles. Desmadrosa disrupts. Desmadrosa creates. Y después de las diez, desmadrosa is just dirty. See, <laughs> she is not fuck he is the fantasy you will never have they are sunday service the sacrament of your faith for within this madrosa lives mother daughter and the damnation of your masculinity and yes masculinity lives in all sexualities the difference between gay and queer so the next time remember my name jose richard Aviles, aunque les cueste, aunque les arden, aunque tengan coraje y aunque tengan miedo, let them feel my ass. Let them not understand who the fuck I am. My name is Jose Richard Aviles, and my birthright is he, they, them, ella y desmadrosa. Hoy me levanté en otro lugar, siento ansiedad, la necesidad de contar quién soy para no morir, para no olvidar que la vida es un pequeño soplo de libertad. Hoy seré canción, volaré detrás de las coplas del trovador del campo y de la ciudad. Para no morir, para no olvidar que el dolor existe y con amor lo voy a curar. Yo soy una aventurera, una madrugada en soledad. 
Soy una guitarra que canta el viento, una cordillera que llega al mar. Por mis venas corre fuego, mis ojos brillan en la oscuridad. Y mi voz hambrienta no tiene miedo de cantar por siempre mi libertad. Y mi voz hambrienta no tiene miedo de cantar por siempre mi libertad. Callejeras recognize the resiliency in strutting. Callejeras traded their pink heels for boots. And you best believe we got the not the sloths and swamp me. Shout out to LA. Callejeras never hid razors in their hair. For we hit them underneath our tongues. For every ch ch a mami, well fuck you faggot, we traded it for Ike, a la verga, and tell your mama you got your ass beat by a faggot. <laughs> this is dedicated to you, callejera. This is dedicated to the callejeras who stood at the intersection of Western and Vermont with a bullhorn in hand and a rainbow flag in the other. For this callejera knows that her queerness is defiance, proclamations of pavement. This is dedicated to the callejera who grew at the intersection of Vernon and Vermont with a bullhorn in hand and the bakery right on the corner. I still buy bakery, bread from this bakery to ensure that they stay afloat. Gentrification. Mm. This is dedicated to the callejeras who understand that cigarettes are currency, understand the politics of brown bags, and also fell asleep to helicopter lullabies because where I come from, surveillance is normalized. See, don't be fooled. Just because she's fam doesn't mean she's not hood. I grew up on Newports and Old English. <laughs> Callejera, this is dedicated to you, for the color of your skin reflects the courage of the matriarchs that brought you here. Your curls hide the secrets that Abuela whispered at night. Your earring hangs like a hanging mahacaranda in the month of May. This is dedicated to you, Callejera. Now you'll plant seeds in the concrete and don't be waiting for flowers, my bitch. You about to sprout a forest. This is dedicated to you, Callejera. My name is Jose Richard Aviles, but let my name be forgotten. Let my name be gone. Let my name fly in the wind. I am not interested in the accolades of the flesh. I am interested in the healing of soil, for I would know there would be no body without hood. There would be no frown without smile. There would be no courage without struggle. This is dedicated to you, Callejera. This is dedicated to my hood, South Central. <laughs>